Hello there Pisces, welcome to your weekly tarot readings. So welcome back. Um, I'm using a different deck for you guys mainly because um, I feel like a lot of changes are happening here and so this deck is very vibrant and it helps me pick up your energy a little bit better. So I tried the traditional Rider Waite deck and it just didn't, um, I, I wasn't feeling it. So uh, let's see how this goes, okay? So the first five cards, once again, is uh, pertains to your love relationships and romantic life. And the second five cards deal more with other areas, but also spiritual advice that's coming in for you. Um, I feel like for some of you, um, we have a water sign, very strong water energy coming through here. Um, I have, you know, another Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpio that you could be... Um, involved with and this is a um there it could be their sun moon or rising and i feel like there was a time when one person felt like they were the only one pulling the weight of the relationships they were the only one putting in a lot of effort to move things in a specific direction the two of you might also have different goals different ideals when it comes to relationships when it comes to family planning when it comes to parenting or even when it comes to life direction one person might want to you know uh, live here and the other person might want to live somewhere else. So like I'm seeing this rural urban divide One person could be very family oriented and the other person is a little bit more of a lone wolf, you know um, So I feel almost like the lifestyle the the life choices as well as um, Wants and needs out of life and out of relationships between you and your partner might be very contradictory and nevertheless, there is a lot of, I feel, a lot of um, chemistry, a lot of love, a lot of passion. Also, just a lot of, like, the energy is very soft. And I feel like, you know, uh, despite these differences, you kind of accept each other for who you are. You accept the other person, they vice versa accepts you. And I also feel like there might have been things getting in the way of this relationship too. This is the week where you're looking at things from a different vantage point. And rather than, you know, being the one to pull the weight of the relationship, I definitely feel there's going to be a lot of clarity as well as a lot of like expressing what you want and need from your relationship partner so that the relationship partner can pull their weight or if they're the one that feels that they did, you know, pull the weight for the entire relationship then I feel they're going to express their wants and needs so that both people can be on board and work together towards something greater, something that is a little bit more, you know, like a consensus between the two of you. I also feel with this um, Eight of Swords here, this is coming out of a place of darkness, okay? Recuperation. Um, if you haven't been uh, intimate or if you haven't been communicating well with the partner, I feel like this is a, a, a phase where you are coming out of this state of isolation or this state of self-doubt. Do they or do they not love me? Do they or do they not want to be with me? So for those who are coupled or even singles, this is kind of like letting go of your fears and your trepidation, being kept in the dark, coming out of it into the light because somebody is making an effort to come see you they're also making an effort to reach out and express their emotions for you and i feel like for many of you uh you know you you sense a lot of subtleties in the interaction between you and another person and you feel like they feel a certain way about you but a lot of the times you need that validation from them like something concrete that they either like you or they don't like you you wanted something concrete and this is the week where you're gonna have some type of a visible proof that they're pushing forward to make an effort to communicate with you to solidify plans with you or to do something a little bit more concrete to move the direction the relationship in the right direction and i also have as well this um awareness and insight that you're going to be getting you know, in particular with the hermit to allow you some kind of snippet, some kind of understanding into their nature, why they took so long and why they haven't been, you know, fully committed to you. Um, towards the end, we have here the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords is going back 
allowing the other person to kind of take over rather than controlling this, the situation, relinquishing control, trusting in our higher self, trusting our intuition and trusting as well that things that are meant to be are going to naturally come together so that we don't have to, you know, exert so much effort and strength to push things along. I honestly feel for those who are single and you have somebody in mind, you're putting in a lot of the work, you're bearing the weight of that relationship. Um, could be financial, could be, you know, um, you're the one making plans, you're the ones that put in a lot of effort to see them, to be with them, to, you know, put yourself out there. Because when you feel things deeply, um, you want to express it. You're like the emotionally expressive type of a sign. I feel like Cancers and Scorpios, not so much they feel things, but they kind of sidestep these issues but for you you want to be heard you want your emotions to surface and i feel like this is the week where you kind of relinquish control and let the other person put in the effort let the other person take over let the other person kind of um it's it's almost like matching your timeline to the other person and then let the situation unfold naturally okay um very i have really really strong water sign like i feel very watery nurturing type of energy here and um i also feel like you're dealing with somebody that needs a lot of alone time they need their space with this hermit here somebody that could be a little bit older or they just need their space they have a lot of things that they want to take care of in a timely manner so they might not as respond be as responsive or receptive or be too um you know they, they they might seem like they're distant or a little bit aloof or closed off but i feel like it's circumstances that's forcing it to be this way uh, it's not by their choice they just need a lot more space than you do okay in other areas of your life, I do have um, a, a big energy of children here. We have the Page of Cups as well as the um, Page of Wands, okay, so the Page of Rods. So Water Sign, Fire Sign. So this is a very young energy. It has a lot to do with um, children. And we also have here, this is what I call classically the Mother card, the Queen of Rods, the Queen of Wands. Um, this is a week where you kind of redefine and you know think about picking your battles and for those who are parents in particular i feel like you know the ways in which we nurture the ways in which we take care of and the ways in which we encourage the little ones to live to their full potential or to learn to be more independent or to learn to take care of themselves is has a lot more to do with giving them encouragement but also allowing them that space and that room to do things on their own. So if you have a child that is like this, they constantly look at you for validation. And uh, if you're, you know, the, the helicopter mom or dad and you're constantly um, watching what they're doing and then also like constantly correcting what they're doing, this is the month for you to kind of hold back on that and let them through trial and error, learn to do things on their own. Because what's coming in as well is the page of wands. This is somebody who's very independent. Um, they try to, you know, figure things out on their own and they, they are very, um, I, I want to say exploratory and they do like to have that independence so that they can figure out what works for them. So whatever method works for you might not be the method that works for them. So they have to kind of explore learn through trial and error and then you know arrive at a conclusion or arrive at their own solution to problems so i feel like loving detachment from your kids you know so that they can grow into their own person that's going to be very uh, crucial for this week for those who you know have like nieces and nephews grandchildren or even your own children i feel like you know this idea of loving detachment approaching a situation from a different vantage point and then also detaching that energy detachment doesn't always mean you know indifference it basically means i respect you enough as a person to not interfere with your um with your journey of self-discovery so i'm going to relinquish control and let you figure things out on your own so across the board both of these spreads deal with letting go of control issues letting go of you know controlling for a specific outcome wanting the other person to be just like us but 
ultimately when we're dealing with another person we can't really infringe on our free will nor do we want them to be a splitting mirror image of us because that would be really boring if we were you know dealing with people who are exactly like us it doesn't allow room for you to grow either so i feel like you know you guys are kind of letting um these control issues just kind of go and then trust that the other person will self-manage and then will you know move things along once you relinquish control leaving somebody to their own devices and having trust that they are going to do the right thing i feel like that's a major theme here in your work environment and i'm looking in particular at these three cards here we have the knight of pentacles the death card and the queen of rods the Knight of Pentacles is the way in which you're making money, the, the revenue stream, the income that's coming into the picture for you. If it's the Knight energy, I feel like there is a lot of potential, but the, the trickle of money or the supply of money is going to be a little bit slow in coming. I also feel with the Death card, this is like new ways or transitioning into new uh, business uh, propositions or arrangement, transitioning into new ways of earning money and then not being as mobile as you're used to so i see a lot of travel and restrictions and movement here um that you're you're not going to you know like so for example if you travel a lot for work to close deals and things like that there's going to be a little bit of a slowdown uh this week and then vice versa i feel like for those of you who are thinking about new ways of making money new job opportunities as well there's a lot of trepidation here fear um fear of change fearing as if you might not have the skills and the capabilities fearing as if you need to you know stay put to learn additional skills before you can jump into this new venture so i see you contemplating about you know some type of career changes and some type of re uh reorganization or rearranging the way that you work the work that you do new projects that are coming in and there's like fear and trepidation from your end about not having what it takes to do the work necessary okay um it's going to be i i, I don't feel like you know there aren't a lot of major arcana cards well let's see we have four we have four um, but I feel like the major arcana cards deal more with um, accepting change, relinquishing control, and trusting that the other person will do the right thing. So that's coming into the picture. So I feel like, you know, the this is not the really the week for you to exert your energy. It's more for you to kind of sit back and watch things unfold, okay? Not an overall busy week, but I do feel like, you know, rest and recuperation for many of you, especially if you've been working overtime, if you've been traveling a lot too, okay? Take it easy. I will talk to you guys next week. Take care.